Guys, in this video, let us look at Desmar's retractor. So basically, what are you retracting here, guys? The eyelid, yes. So basically, this is saddle-shaped instrument. Let us see. It is saddle-shaped instrument. So basically, it, it folds on itself at one end. It folds on itself. And there are two sizes, pediatric size, large uh, adult size. Okay, that's fine. So what are you using it for? You are going to retract the lid during examination of the eyeball. So, in case of blepharospasm, etc., marked swelling, ecchymosis, a lot of things. Mainly, what I want to know is this one, deb, double aversion of eyelid to examine the superior fornix. So, how will you examine the superior fornix, right? It's very difficult. You have to double avert the eye, okay? You have to use Desmar's retractor for this. It allows for continuous adjustment of the lids, okay? That is very nice. Uh, and you can, uh, the width of the palpebral aperture, so you can adjust. So, how much you want to? Uh, C, right? Disadvantage, it's not self-retaining. Okay, so somebody has to keep it pulled. So, if it is like this and you are doing something, somebody has to keep it pulled on the other side, right? Okay, that's it. It is not self-retaining, but it is, it folds on itself. What is that? That means it's not so flexible, guys. It's not that it is, uh, it's metal only. It's not going to fold, uh, you're not going to bend it and fold it. Basically, uh, this is saddle-shaped instrument. I would remember this one, the double aversion of eyelid, okay, to uh, examine the superior fornix, okay. So, basically, you are uh, you're retracting the eyelid during examination of the eyeball, you can examine the eyeball. If you want to examine the palpebral conjunctiva, if you want to uh, check the superior fornix, all that you can do looks like, okay. So, this is Desmar's retractor, saddle-shaped instrument of palmology. Bye-bye.